Well, Brazil really has an interest in defining itself as a major geopolitical actor, uh, as, some, as a country that really can influence uh, the progress of world affairs and world, world politics and establishing the countries that are hitherto uh, known as southern countries or developing countries as major players to an extent that they haven't been before. So Brazil has kind of the intermediate power status of represent of being a very important and powerful developing nation and also working as a somewhat of a bridge between the developing nations and the more powerful nations in international forums such as the WTO, the UN, so on and so forth. Within the Brazilian political class there is a diffuse aspiration for greater influence but sometimes that there isn't a precise game plan on how to get there. It's often not very clear what the concrete policies that seem to have gone with pushing for increases in prestige, whether they really do serve concrete interests in Brazil. For example, in the trade area, they have pushed, a, since Lula uh, became president, they had produced, uh, they had been pushing for a south-south kind of trade relationship, thereby sacrificing markets in the developed countries and including the United States and Canada. Brazil is very much about looking at creating new alliances and new structures. Now where Canada fits into all of that is that we're thus far not in the center, if you will, of their radar scope. Uh, we're from a, from a geopolitical or a foreign policy perspective. We share uh, democratic values, uh, values on human rights, but where Brazil and Canada really come together is on the prosperity agenda, on the economic agenda between our two. So in developing uh, uh, partnerships with countries like Canada, who actually have a very similar uh, economic profile to the extent that they're both resource-rich countries, I think that there's, a, there's particular room to be able to cooperate. And secondly, I think that, that the, the Canada relationship can provide uh, usefulness to Brazilian policymakers in addressing their domestic uh, challenges. And one of the big challenges that, that Brazil faces is precisely how to how to deal with this challenge of abundance and, uh, and economic growth. And so there is, you need to have significant investments in transport infrastructure, uh, in human capital and education, and know-how to be able to pull off also large sporting events that are coming around the corner with the World Cup uh, and the Olympics. There are many opportunities for Brazilian companies in Canada and for Canadian companies in Brazil too. Brazil is not an easy market to penetrate, but there are lots of opportunities and uh, it's too big to ignore.